Hello everybody, welcome to the July Teen Take and Makes. Um, you're only gonna get one video for all of July because today or this week is week six and I am going to be out of town for weeks seven and eight. So we'll go over all of the crafts very quickly and a couple of books that are new here at Yoga West. Um, I'm sitting um, on by our window in the story time room, so I'm a little bit backlit, but it's a nicer background I think than um, again, seeing our dry erase board where I was sitting before. Um, I don't have my clay chia pet. He is happily at home growing his chia seed hair. Um, I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Whatever you do, I'm sure it's gonna look great. It's just clay, it's for fun. Um, then we have the next week, which was the um, tissue paper painting. This was my first attempt. It was supposed to be a peacock because I was gonna go with the theme of tails and tails, but it looks more like a green brain than it does a peacock. If you look close, you can see there's his body, but you can see how the colors went. And then I tried again and just randomized all my colors and made some star shapes, some sea anemone shapes. And you can see that the colors bled into each other, making some oranges, some purples. So it's fun. The tissue paper will rip. It might be a little frustrating if you're trying to do a pattern, but just stick with it, go slow. Um, the more water you add, the more diluted your color is gonna be, like up there. If you add just a little bit of water, the color is more intense. So that I found that one pretty fun. Love to see those too when you do those. And then the last week is our book, Hedgehogs. Here's my little hedgy. He's really pretty easy to make. No matter how you do it, he's gonna turn out great. Um, it might take you a couple days if you get tired of folding. Um, take a break, go back, do it again. Then just glue on his little nose, his little eyes. You can see his ears. Now I did not put feet on mine, so that's up to you. This is what he looks like without feet, or you can put the little brown paper feet on him and he'll look really great. If you have any questions about this one, just send me an email or stop in, up at Geauga West and, and I can give you a hand. But the folds are really pretty easy um, to do. So then the next couple book recommendations, or not even book recommendations, but new books here at Geauga West. These two are both in the J fiction in the children's fiction section we have curse of the phoenix these are tw uh, twins brother and sister and they grew up um, with their mom talking about dragons and unicorns and fairies and all these mythical creatures and then they find out that actually all of those creatures are real they move to england to be with the rest of their family and they find out that their family are caretakers of this different realm where all of those creatures live Another one is called The Verdigris Pawn by Elisa Washingrad. This one just came in here at Geauga West, but it is about courage and strength and where, where do we find those things? And sometimes you find those things in unexpected places. Um, also fantasy. A couple of the teen books in the YA young adult or teen section that are new here at Geauga West. We have The Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas. Uh, Jake is 16, he's a medium, he can see ghosts, and he lives in a very diverse neighborhood in his city and goes to school at a prep school outside of his neighborhood. And um, he has to deal with how that affects his life in different places, but also then a vengeful ghost comes and he has to deal with um, a ghost that's kind of out to get him. So a little bit of adventure there. Um, then we have the girl in the headlines, also in the teen section. Um, by Hannah Jane. This is a thriller, mystery th thriller. The main character is um, almost 18 and she has kind of a perfect life, very supportive, loving parents, is a great big sister, and overnight her life changes and she has to solve this mystery of what is going on in her life and what happened to her parents, what happened to her brother, he's missing. So mystery thriller. Then we have the third book by Rainbow Rowell. Um, Any Way the Wind Blows. It is in the Simon Snow trilogy, older teens probably for this one. And um, main characters are still the same. So Simon, Baz, Penelope, and Agatha had to decide how to move forward with their lives. What is that gonna look like from where the second book ended? Then we have um, books that are not newly published. They were actually published in 2017. They're just new to the Geauga system. If you're on TikTok at all, if you're on Book Talk where they do book recommendations, these books were all over the place um, earlier in the winter, kind of late fall, winter. Um, Sci-fi, and I've read this first one, Zero Repeat Forever. It's really good, it's kind of dystopian. 
um, aliens or an alien type being has invaded the world and they're trying to figure out how to deal with them. The main character was at a camp when this happened and so it's about her group of camp campers survival, how do they survive, where are they going, how can they get back to their families and everything. And then the book two, we also have Cold Falling White. I haven't read this one. And there's a third one that the author is working on, um, but we don't have, I mean, it hasn't been published yet. So we have one and two. Um, and last new book that we have here at Geauga West is called Rise to the Sun by Leah Johnson. And there's two girls who are both looking for different things out of this musical festival weekend, both teenagers. One, um, one has a dad who was an artist at that musical festival. And so they're both kind of seeking different things, but they meet up and come together to, to try to search for what they're both looking for and work together to get it. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the summer and send me pictures of your crafts. I'd love to see them, how your book hedgehogs turn out, how your um, clay animals turn out. It would all be great to see. And um, hopefully we will see some of you in person in the fall. We're gonna start in-person programs at the branches. As far as we know right now, um, Geauga West will have one each month. I don't know what the other branches will do, but we'd also love to hear some feedback from you. Um, do you like take and makes? Do you, are you ready for it in person? What would you guys like to see so we can try to plan some of the things you wanna see going forward? So have a great rest of your summer, great start of the school, school year. And um, I hope to see some of you in September. Bye.